Welcome back everyone to another Premiere Editing Tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over how to export a file. Okay, so the video I've been doing this tutorial series from is finally edited. Uh, so I think I've gone over everything through the course editing this. That means it is time to do an export. So with the timeline window selected, uh, you can go up to File, Export, and Media. And this will allow you to export your file. So if you want, you can use this match sequence settings and it will come out like your sequence. Uh, but I don't like doing that. I like making sure everything is right. So for the format, if you're doing a YouTube video, you always want this H.264 format. And then for a preset, you can totally make your own presets. I personally made my own. When you get everything all customized, this is the button you can click to save yourself a preset. So the things that really matter here, uh, this is the output that it's going to be exported, and this is the source. So this is your sequence settings, and this is what you're going to export as. And personally, for YouTube, I like doing a 29.97 frame rate. It works good with my cameras, uh, but whatever you want to do, uh, is completely up to you. Uh, I would always make sure this render at maximum depth is checked. Uh, that is very helpful and will help your videos turn out a little bit better. And then the other major thing I would do is this target bitrate. I'll put a link to YouTube's recommended settings uh, where depending on what kind of video you're releasing will tell you what bitrate you want. And VBR 2-pass technically works better, but my computer is really slow and laggy, so I use VBR 1-pass, so it doesn't take hours and hours to render, but VBR 2-pass will give you a better quality video. And then the other thing is always make sure that use maximum render quality is checked. That will help out immensely. Uh, and again, we'll just make your video come out better quality on YouTube. So, with that being said, once everything is actually good. Uh, under output name, you can rename your files. Uh, so select your folder, name it what you want, and click save. And it will be in the location you want it to be in. And then once you have that set, you come down here and click the export button, and away we are exporting. So when this is done, in the folder you selected, you'll have your video file and it'll be ready for whatever purpose you feel like using it for. Well, I guess that is going to wrap up this video and the little tutorial series here. So if you found this useful, definitely be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And be sure to check back to the channel. We'll be doing regular editing content, uh, both for... Uh, photography and video editing, so if either of those are your thing, be sure to stay tuned and see what's coming next.